Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We're continuing our series of which era of aircraft can do a certain thing most efficiently. It's Cortana series, say hello Cortana. How's it going? Just to show you what we've done before, we've done which era of aircraft can penetrate a SAM IAD the best or most efficiently, most cost efficiently, which can destroy a World War II naval convoy most efficiently, World War II tank battalion, a 1980s Soviet tank and SAM battalion, and a 1980s UK naval convoy. Cortana, what are we doing today? We are looking at a raid from the early days of the Battle of Britain. So what we have are 48 JU-88s, um, because they're the bomber that we have for the German side, defended by eight BF-109s. Um, they're the more modern variants, but I took away, um, I took away their... Uh, MW50, and um, I've, I've turned the difficulty on them down just a little bit to sort of compensate for the fact that they're better than they should be. And they are going to come bomb Manston, the uh, airfield that we are taking off from. Our job is to defend it. Uh, we do have a little bit of flak, but it is not really going to do a whole lot against an invasion of this size. So it's kind of up to us. So it's a bit of fun as usual, but also we're looking at which can defend it most cost effectively. So first we've got warbirds, a whole variety of coalition warbirds. Then today we've got Gen 1 fighters, I see, Cortana, yes. 15s and, and F-86, which is super cool because we rarely get to fly them. Then we've got Gen 2 slash 3 aircraft, I see, with MiG-21s and F-5 Tigers and Air Mirage F-1s and such. Oh, and F oh, a lead nose mm -hmm. diesel fighter. Very nice. Then we've got the Gen 4 Tomcats and the Mirage 2000, uh, Hornet and F-16 and F-15 and stuff. Now, bear in mind, obviously, Gen 4 is going to smash those guys down quicker than a Warbird, but... Today is all about the efficiency, and you know, an AMRAM costs several hundred thousand dollars. Which one is going to be able to defend most cost effectively? Any uh, predictions, guys? So, personally, I think it's either going to come down to the Gen 1 or the Gen 2 slash 3. And a lot of that comes down to there seems to be an issue regarding the damage model with the warbirds uh, and missiles. Um, for some reason, it just doesn't, they don't seem to do the damage that they do to modern aircraft. Um, and so in a lot of cases, it's going to take us multiple missiles to actually shoot down a bomber, though a single hit can off often, you know, force them to return mm. to base. Welcome in. First attempt, Warbird, Simba, Push, Cap, Sir Winston Churchill, <laughs> Cortana, Fire, Pappy, Ketchup, uh, Sock, Bird, Cannibal, Violet's going to be joining, Salsa will be joining. Big old turnout today, always popular these are. Right, Cortana, lead us to victory and some such. Capcom check. Ooh. Remind me what firepower you've got in that, Cortana. Uh, oh man, I can't remember. Is it two 12.7s and a, uh, or two 13s rather, and uh, two 20s, Brandon? I'll do the job. I think so. Yep, sounds right. I've got a Mustang today, viewers. I think this is going to be a brilliant interceptor for this. I want to dive down on them from high altitude and go as fast as I can. Again, Doras. Uh, what were they, guys? Medium range, high altitude bomber interceptors. That'll be perfect for this. Mosquitoes, not so much. Mosquito was, well, was a freaking bomber. But they've got a lot of gun on them, haven't they, guys? God! Oh, I'm fired at! Huh. Uh. Cortana, um, I think you should start heading off. The rest will catch up as we go. We've got two lives in the Warbirds, as we always do, because we like flying them. Roger. Don't forget, there we go. you've got 600 more horsepower than us, so um, don't want you burning our engine out. Let's go, Algy. You know, Come on, go. Ginger. I love Algy. Take on these Jerrys. Algernon. Where did that name go? Are you, are you talking about Tears for Algernon? Sure. The book? No, I'm talking about Pickles. Oh my, oh my god, Tears for Algernon is amazing. What is it? Short story about a mouse. A mouse? Called Algernon. Yeah. 
pretty good. Is that kids book? Yeah, Cliff Robertson. It's about the loss of, think about like having the greatest thing of all time like ruin your ability to euphorically love anything because you can never have anything greater ever. Sounds like a sad story. It's an incredible story of loss. I really suggest reading it. Well, if Doc suggests it, we should do it, viewers. Right, guys, um, everyone is kind of getting some formation work done because we've got 50 miles to go. Uh, basically, usually just follow Cortana. One thing I've learned in life is just follow Cortana. We're gonna take a heading of roughly 120. Jeez, my T's and T's. You gotta slow down, Cortana. You're gonna kill us all. I can slow down for now, but once I climb to a certain altitude, I have to punch it on this engine. Roger. Right, guys, get your max continuous climb for a Mustang that's 2600, 2700, uh, about 50 PSI. Uh, contacts on the nose. <laughs> Are you sure? I shouldn't. Oh yeah, you can oh, see it way wow. Longer. 50 miles, that is a clear day, guys. You couldn't see them in real life, okay. could you? Or could you? I don't know. I don't know, that many of them, you, you might catch glints okay. off the metal. Alright, we are maintaining with you now, Cortana. Thank you very much. Roger. Why have you got yellow bellies? I've forgotten. There is a story behind it, isn't there? But I've forgotten it. So we wouldn't uh, shoot down aircraft we captured, I think, right? Uh, yeah, I think something to that extent. This formation viewers, a couple of Fokkers, three Fokkers, and then the Americans. To say, Cortana's flying in captured RAF colors. Um, I'm um, I'm okay. I'm actually okay. I'm, I'm within uh, within Mac continuous. All right. I'm gonna have to punch it here. All right, you do it. A little bit. Roger. Do the best we can, viewers. All right. Pumping up to 300 or 2,000 RPM. Oh, look at that thing. It's absolute powerhouse, viewers. Over 2,000 horsepower, and it can maintain that. Hey, damn. I know Cap forgot about our majestic mosquito formation, but ah. if our viewers want to catch it, they can check us out on Rumble or Odyssey. And then they can like, subscribe, and comment in the below about how Cap should have identified our majestic mosquito formation. It's true, viewers. You should do that. I'm simply saying it. So you kind of have to do it now. Okay, so yes, the people's turn on champion. Your oxygen ready, uh, regulator. Look at that swarm up there. Right. Right. You say that, but I've lost it. Oh my! Here. Look at the size of that thing. Come on, Mustang! I need more horsepower. I legitimately don't think we have enough ammunition to bring this entire cloud down. Huh? Well, Tana, how are you, are you going from like around the side and hooking to the rear? How are you doing it? Are you doing head on? Uh, I'm gonna do the first pass head on the uh, the proper German way. Hmm. All right. At least chance for them to shoot us. This is the only thing, yeah. There is quite yeah. a lot. Oh, I'm impressed with this multi-threading, guys. I'd usually get about 10 FPS on a single thread. I can't climb high enough, guys. I can't. I'm gonna have to go for a rear. See, look, Cortana with her power, you yep. go straight into them. I'm gonna have to cycle around the edge. Just let my teeth Yeah, let's ride. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cycle us around to the right and. Uh, we can climb up in front of them. Roger. And it shows viewers how hard it was to get to altitude in World War II. 20,000 feet, 14,000 feet, I think I'm reading that right. 4,000 to go. Although in yep, real life, that sounds about right. you really want to dive down on top of them. There they are, viewers. Any idea what their IAS is? Two 
40, Jeez. give or take. Love it when the super got, uh, picks in this 51. She got good. I had like four escorts jumping in. Someone shot down. Uh oh. Packet ketchup's down. That's not a good omen, guys. Oh, shit, I've lost Cortana. Oh, right. Alright. I'm gonna swing into the side of the formation here. Okay. Viewers, bomber intercepts, so freaking hard. They is firing, yo. Oh, there's Cortana. And uh, remember, if you do get shot down, bail out. It is tracking deaths. Roger. Right, good news is I've escaped the Coopers, or the E's, or whatever they're pretending to be. Oh, jeez. I've messed my intercept up, viewers. Well, I've messed it up. Ah, uh, Wilbur's just not that good at 20,000 feet. Right, I'm gonna have to whip it. Cap wet. Actually, it's not wet. It's whatever it is. Running in. Got one. Well done. Undamaged. Oh, they are not happy with you. Sock is trailing from down low, coming up to their altitude. Where are their guns mounted? I've forgotten. Uh, bottom and top. So right. sides is actually a really good spot to get them from. Watch out, side. Come on, Mustang, please. Go faster. You can see all of a sudden why fast planes in World War II were so important for viewers. Getting that top speed up altitude. It's critical. Right, one bomber down. Well done, you lot. Bombers down. Well done. Who's that doing all that killing? That's me. That. Oh, another one. Well done. Wow. Freaking smashing them, Donna. Got a lot of time smashing bombers on the two servers. Done. Any other Mustang really struggling to catch up? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Come on, Mustang. I don't dare put it up to max RPM. It's just too risky. Both coolers, you will get enough power, but the fuel pressure, I think, goes down. Oh god, now I've been intercepted! Piss off! Back in Jerry's. Come on, Mustang, you were literally designed for this. I'm gonna go up a bit. Viewers, we're going up for power. Who's down low? Are you getting shot at, or are you the one shooting? I'm the one shooting, I got chased down low. I should have chosen the Dora. Good. On the bright side, we're now within gliding range of England. That's good. Go faster! time viewers. Oh! Uh, 
Uh, that was an important part. I'm gonna do the thing. Oh, I uh, shot an aircraft land manually. Huh. Love manual. Manual best shots. Although they can be quite expensive. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I got this one that's trying to wing. run away. Imagine the bravery of these British crews in the Battle of Britain. You were so friggin' hard. my engine up very shortly. I seem to have uh, lost some wood. Don't worry about that. Pretty oak. The black's out. Bombs out. God, no. Oh, yep, there are the bombs. Oh, this multi-threading viewers, I've never had it this smooth before. So tough, I wish the shut down by on it. <laughs> Roger, you did your job. Oh, the bombs are dropping on the airfield. You know what, when it shows how hard, guys, it was intercepting these raids, it was a real hard and dangerous thing to do. Well, I gotta hope there's enough airfield left for you to crash onto. I just took back off before the bombs got me. Crap virtually Winchester. Cops finally found the bombers. Finally caught them. Yeah. Oh, it? I've survived really well. I'd say we, uh, you guys pursue them for a little bit, but then uh, yeah. call it. Give it five minutes, guys. Bomber down. I'm going to Zondo Commander Elbow. Baby. Probably Winchester. Chop his tail off. Ooh. What a way to go, viewers. What a friggin' way to go. This plane does not fly very well with only one aileron. Huh. It's almost like they designed it to use two. Right, guys. So, am I right in saying the base got bombed? I'm, I'm gonna take it as a probable. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gone oh, to yeah. hell. It really did, didn't it, guys? Really got bombed. Yeah, that's one smash Manston. Man, bomber intercepts are friggin' hard. It shows you how, how they had to spot those bombers just as they were taking off, which they did obviously, and intercept as quickly as they could. We killed 33 of them, although most of those were probably after they had dropped their bombs. And it cost us a staggeringly small three and a half million dollars, guys. Uh, and six of us were shot down, as you were kind of be expected. So I guess the critical thing is that we did not stop the bombing raid. The bombing raid very much destroyed our base. Welcome back. This is going to be cool. We've now got Gen 1 planes capable of nearly Mark 1. There's a mixture of MiG-15s and F-86s. Guys, let's get Don's the runway. Look how small the squat the MiG-15 was, viewers. This modified Rolls-Royce Neen engine, producing over a thousand pounds of thrust more than the Sabre. But the Sabre is generally an awesome aircraft. Yes, it is. All right, Cortana. Um, it's going to be a big melee here, so I suggest just taking off and just not using full power. 
Call when you're rolling, sure. Cortana. Rolling. Viewers, the uh, weaponry on these planes is very different. Although they flew relatively similar in the same envelope, this was very much a fighter in terms of its guns. It used six fifty cal, I think, viewers, high velocity. That there, the Russian plane used high, low velocity, heavy duty cannons, 23 mil and 37 mil, very much a bomber intercept. Airborne. Just obviously on the center line, so yep. far more effective. And that's an, that's an important, uh, interesting point, viewers. My guns are on the in the nose here. Much better than having them in the wings. Show off. Oh, my flaps are down. Oh, I can't remember how to get these flaps you up. You gotta hold, hold the flap button up. Hold okay. the flap button up. Thank you. I wonder if it's so friggin' slow. Let's re-familiarize ourselves. Good copy this is, viewers. Got everything where I want it to be. 300 miles. It's a knot. It's too many knots, isn't it? 300 knots. Ooh -wee. Here's a question for you viewers. What engine do we have? Did, was it, no, it wasn't the J57. What do we have in this guy? J35 or something? Oh God, I can't remember. Are you going straight in? I mean, we've got the kinematics just to go straight ahead on. Oh yeah, yeah. What I found works really well is to uh, go straight in head on and then come at them from behind. You, the, your overtake speed is so significant that, yeah, you can, Effectively ignore the fighters as long as you keep your energy up. Roger. Absolute game changer. Alright, go off to with the bombers. Gonna climb a little bit above them. Watch the compressibility on the dive in. Especially in the MIG. The F-86 handles it better. 18,000 feet. Here we go. Who's gonna get there first? Almost certainly full time. You're probably gonna have to back off here soon. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's such a problem with the bomber interceptor being too fast. I mean, there was, with the ME262, some people complained it was too far to get any bullets on target. Yeah, I found the way to, way to do it is just sort of, sort of line a couple bombers up and then squeeze off a couple rounds and then blow right through the formation and uh, come back around. Hits cap. Oh, we're doing damage Again. already, guys. Oh, the power of first-gen jets. One of them's smoking. One thing I'm worried about is our ammo capacity. Mustang carry loads of ammo. How much does this carry? Less. Huh. It's flash one. Running in. Runny nose. I'm actually finding it's too bloody fast. We're so fast, they can't even fire. They've got their, um, their guns can't even track us. How much power of our viewers up here. The great thing about jet engines, especially low Two bypass, down. Uh, well, zero bypass engines like this, they perform so well at high altitude as compared to a piston engine. It's in both. Oh yeah, we're doing a lot better. And they're, they're only halfway across the friggin' channel. Yeah, I'm just coming in too fast with the nose. Yeah, that's the problem. Getting compressibility going uh, completely horizontally. Problem is, I'm coming so fast, Cortana. I can only hit one on the way in, and then and then I'm out and flown through by that point. C'est pour ma fiche. Oh, that's an explosion. Yeah, they do explode now, don't they? That was spectacular. Underneath them is uh, the, their weak spot for gun coverage. Roger. We're chewing the pieces, guys. The difference in tech is absolutely amazing. The amount of gun we can fire, the speed we're coming in at, the amount of time because we've got to target so quick. It's night and day. And we're almost invulnerable. We're so fast, they can't track us very well. Winchester, I'm headed back. Cora, you want us to return all the way to base before getting another one? Uh, that'll probably be a cab call. Yep, absolutely, guys. Do it. We've got the speed to do so it. RTB. Remember, guys, once the bomber has left the formation, don't track it anymore. He's going home at that point, and he's not going to bomb. 
Well, this is thoroughly satisfying you, Wington. Can I bring some AIM-9 Bravos? Um, oh, yeah, for you. Yeah, you can. Why not? But I don't know that they're going to track. I, I bet they will. They were designed for shitty bombers, so... Oh, doggone it. You could bring some unguided. Yeah. Ooh. What kind of one? I collided with somebody. I, believe you did I may have done a thing. I went rapping Lost our first plane. Um, uh, make, 1.5 mil. Make that two of them. Two, no, it hasn't counted on the scoreboard. Scoreboard is gold. Because it hasn't crashed yet. Huh. It's spiraling in death. If you can see the scoreboard, latest scoreboard improvements, viewers, you can see there. Really clever stuff. All four rounds, clever programming. A bit of Fortana. I'm trying to highlight their engines, viewers. Take an engine out, they're pretty much going to RTB. I can't really justify killing the bomber completely because it takes too much ammo to kill it. Take an engine now. They probably won't make it to the target, not with bombs. I mean, for talking points, guys, it really does show how fast things were moving in aviation at the in the 1940s, late 1940s. Which is, this is a late 1940s plane, really. I know it's only in service in the early 50s, but just half a decade, you've become almost invulnerable. 18 down, guys. Woo-wee. said the only real problem here is I'm just too powerful I'm just too fast I can't get any bullets on target anyone tried missiles nope I don't think any of us brought them Roger I can't I can't remember to use them so I wouldn't I'm not really 19 down before they've even hit blighty I know there's still a lot of them but I mean that's a lot of bomber rate and the ultimate weapon for this was what what was the nuclear rocket they had that they could launch into bomber formation? Oh, uh, the Genie? Yeah, Genie. Nuclear bomb, uh, nuclear rocket. Fire it, pretty much unguided, into one of these. I'm just nuke the whole bomber formation. Speaking of which, we forgot those unguided rockets that the Doros carried for yep. bombers. You know, I tested them out and thought about equipping them, but um, I just couldn't get them to work in any sort of way that was effective. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was effective enough to compensate for the uh, the drag. Yeah, that that's, that's the problem. All those struggle when you put weight on them. 21 down, guys. And that doesn't even count the ones that are RTB viewers. That doesn't even count like ones like that. So, probably 25 down. Flag's going up. Say so goodbye to your engine, mate. Oh, look at those scorers. Cortana 16, Bird 16, Cap 15. Well done, guys. Absolutely chewing these suckers to pieces. All right, they're bombing, but they're at half strength, if probably even worse than half strength. Are they dropping now? Probably. It feels like they're... I can't see them, but they're, they're about to drop. No, not yet. Yeah, they're, they're very close. As before, we'll give it like five minutes after. Oh, there they go. Yeah, go for me. I reckon we'll survive that, guys. Right, um, like last time, to keep the science fair, guys, I'll give you five minutes to clean up. And then we'll um, do the next one. Oh, look at those explosions for you. Can you see that? Oh, amazing, amazing. Kudos to the uh, makers of the game. I don't get to say that very often at the moment, but... Um, running so efficiently at the moment compared to how it used to run with these core game assets. You literally couldn't have run this uh, before. Ah, Winchester. Smack. Zonda Commando Elba. Tracking Cortana. Oh, she switched to a Sabre. How about that? And she was in a MiG before, and a MiG is really calibrated. Oh, huh. You did, uh, it appears you did a thing, Cortana. Mm. Oh, yeah, one. you know, that's the second time. It's one yeah. tough airframe you got there. I'll give you that. Talking I'm, point. I'm still flying. Um, the, the, MiG, the MiG is more calibrated for bomber attack, but you've got to be really good uh, to get those low velocity shells on target. With a plane like this, 
with this high velocity shell it's so much easier and I always go for the easy option it's hard enough doing this let alone having to predict your low velocity tennis balls one minute she's not flying she's falling good style oh, I got right? pilot sniped <laughs> look at the scores bird Cortana and cap all tied at 17 kills friggin handsome heroes must get one more Fire's got it sorted, he uses air brake. Why didn't I think of that? No, no I'm dead. I've been pilot sniped. Huh. They dropped way less bombs. I think 305 bombs uh, oh. they dropped, but we only dropped, they only dropped uh, 230 now. Right, I'm just going to write that data down yeah. now, guys. 305 yeah. bombs, was it? A firm with a taxpayer of 30,000. Yep, 30 million, yep. Okay, I've got that data. All right, guys, let's carry on. We'll analyze it later. I've got everything we need. Welcome in, Gen 2, Gen 3. Things are going to get really hot really quickly. Uh, we've got an interesting mix of planes. 21s, F5s, MiG-19, F4, Phantom, Mirage, F1s, F5s. I'm going for the MiG-19 because it's kinematically very good. Also, it's got a couple of powerful cannons with quite a lot of ammo, I think, if my memory serves me right. So I'm going to go with it. Capra, what are you in, Simba? Mirage F1. I'll come and catch you up. Probably won't actually. Led knows diesel fight against straight up Lurk with his missiles. Uh, what missiles does it have on today? Spar huh. Things happen. Well, you don't see that every day, viewers, do you? Here's you doing, Grim Reapers. His nose wheel steering is real twitchy. Huh. Poor old bird. You do try hard, don't you? It, it's not the F5, that's why I chose the F5. <laughs> I'm not allowed to shout at you anymore either. The viewers won't let me shout at you, so I just have to. I, 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 I give you permission to shout Yay! at me, Cap, when I mess up. For fuck's sake, bird! You twat! Thank you. That's what I'm here for. I can't remember how to... I never learned to read. There we go. Figured out the afterburner. Ah, that horrible feeling when I think I've probably chosen the worst plane for this. You know, that horrible feeling? And this thing was genuinely really accelerated fast viewers. I think this plane was ahead of its time. Not avionics-wise, but kinematically, I think this is a real, real beast of a plane. Simba's got lock. Catching up a lead-nosed diesel fighter. Question, uh, how do I turn on the radar? I was hoping you were going to tell us, buttons. pilot. Oh, I've seen Simba. Simba, I thought you are. Got it. And your little French speciale, Baguetto. Ich bin Simba, and I'm a Baguette. Wow, well, those are big missiles. When did you get those missiles? I'm flying the EE version with the, uh, the supers. I thought we covered that and they didn't have them. Am I... No, no, no. They d they didn't have them in our uh, pre-release model. Uh -huh. They look cool. I've got to go and have another look now. Is that the same missile that was on the Mirage 2000? No, it's uh, an earlier form. It is a better version than the CC carries. All right. Good Simba being educated. Just waiting for the green dot to pop up to tell me I can fire. We're so fast this time, viewers. Yep, intercept. I'm Punch it. clear to fire. Oh, look at that, viewers. New missile in game. Old missile, but new missile. God, it's like a phoenix. Yep, that's going to do a thing. Fox one. It's 100% going to do a thing, Zimba. Woo-wee! An old uh, Sparrow from the 1960s, viewers. Uh, that's what it is. What a new dot. Yeah, literally, they have no effect on the bombers at all. Okay, programmers! Now we've got the problem of friendly fire. Here's the thing, viewers, with these old jets with their fancy missiles, the problem of friendly fire is a nightmare. Almost no. Uh, yeah, they're getting close systems. from behind. Yeah, but someone's just going to pace you with a sparrow, I guarantee it. Mm, probably. And it's not being mean about the humans, it's the tech of the time, viewers. Got a turn on the blob, I hope it's going for one of them. <laughs> right, it's... It's not, it's going for a friendly! Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, no, jump, 1960s it? technology! Was he going after me? It looked like it, and then it found it up jumpers. Amazing killing, guys. There's a lead-nosed diesel fighter just smashing everything. Looks like I chose the wrong aeroplane. Plus, I can't get a lock. Brilliant. Supercap, you chose the wrong friggin' plane. Please don't go for the Mirage. Please don't go for the Mirage! Yeah! Let me do a thing, viewers. Oh, that Mirage missile is terrible. No friendly fire yet. 
I'm more than happy, guys. Right, time to show you what a big friggin' 19 can do. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, where is it? Guns, 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 guns. NR30 is a 30 mil, twin 30 mil cannon viewers. The reason I've chosen this is because they are designed to chew bombers up, literally. This plane was designed oh, no. to chew bombers up. Cortana, can we help you something? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I crashed out of the game. Oh, in you come. That means you lose your fancy score, Cortana. I think we're going to smash eight down already, and they've barely left France, viewers. I give you 1960s technologies. That nose diesel fighter is bigger than the bombers it's shooting. Yeah, it turns out MiG-19. Carry more bombs. Yep, it would have done by a long factor. Again, when you got such powerful engines at the time. Yep, MiG-19 was terrible shots. I can't even maneuver with the friggin' bombers. It's in there, headed back. Fuck, the guns aren't working. Remington. Guns aren't working, viewers. Right. Oh, I'm on them. So the point of this plane, viewers, in case you're interested, was literally to take off, get to 40,000 feet as quickly as possible, which you could do, shoot down the bomber, RTB, if there was any rush into RTB too. It's pretty good at that, I think. The main problem we're finding at the moment, viewers, is our missile warheads are not killing those World War II bombers. Is that accurate? No, a missile warhead would just atomize a a bomber in real life of any type really horrible pitch instability in this ah oh. well yeah i can dart myself back to the uk well i got my okay. eye in with my nr30s already 15 down beautiful 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 i figured out a better um Maneuver profile. Look at this maneuver profile. I figured out here is it's much better than I was doing before. Kind of a 45 degree turn slash dive thingy. Allows me to get right on their butt bots. And they do not want me on their butt bots. Um, we decided we're gonna. Decide the effectiveness by how many bombs are dropped on Manston viewers. And look at the amount of bombs they drop, that's what we care about. Because the kills on the bombers aren't accurate per se, because some die, some just RTB, and those RTBs won't be counted in the scoreboard. Yeah, but when we shoot them down, you can see they're dropping their bombs already. Ah, shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know what to do then. We're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to fudge it by eye then. We should measure success by the fun that we had. <laughs> Look at salsa being whatever salsa is. Right, I'm not sure the MOD are gonna be happy with that type of feedback though. Uh, Spicy and good with chips. Sure. Crisps. Say. Sorry. Yes. Who got the 109? Man, this place is tough. On a Fox one. Huh. Apparently, I got the 109. You get the 109. Uh, Extra credit for that. Yeah. It's uh, locked onto one of y'all, so um, I uh, ditched the radar lock. Oh, aren't you clever? And consider a Cortana. That was me. I would just take the fucking kill. Oh, we've almost killed them all, guys. There's like 10 left. There's honestly like 10 left. Okay, 10's wrong, but not a lot. 15. Oh, that was a rough F4 landing. Huh. Yeah, it was coming in hot. Ah, oh, Winchester. Balls. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get back up then. Oh, well, hang on, we're not allowed two lives with it. Can I get up in time, viewers? Can I freaking get up in time? Probably not. Splash one. Burners on. Faces to stun. Knobheads to knobhead. Go. As I'm taking off, bombers are falling out the sky. That's a good thing. All right, it's Mirage taking off. Who's that then? Simba. Ah, oh, Simba, viewers. 27 kills and they haven't even reached the target yet. We are so sexy. Not bad. So I'm giving you five minutes to clear up, guys. There they are. I swear they didn't have many left by that point, and I really don't think they had many left, guys. Big 19. There's probably four left viewers. That's all we've got is four left. That's how few made it through. I'm having trouble finding ones that people are not actively ejecting yep. out of. Same here, there's just non-left viewers. Isn't that impressive? We've almost killed 48 of them. I would say probably six got through viewers. You know what that is? Progressive data, progressive predictable data. Nothing turns me on more than that, guys, and you know that. 
at least 13 never made it to target. They all just turned around before they even got there. Yeah, that's, that's essentially a kill then, it's just not counting. Oh, these missiles I'll be, will be the death of me, guys. You know what? I'm not even going to bother firing. Let's just use the gun. Let's see if we can kill all 48. Hey, that five. Definitely not. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I didn't arm the cannon. <laughs> I didn't arm the cannon. Arch two. God damn it. I have mated. I have successfully mated. And I really mean it. Smart mother. We saw that. You didn't let that one get away. Right. Told you, MiG-19, it just will not let those bombers go. Three bombers left, guys. Another? Well, that was a big gap. Well done! You've done it all. You've killed them all. You've killed them all. Poor server. That was six cops through, and we killed them all, which is wonderful news. Uh, wow, it's expensive. $50 million, but that's kind of an us problem, guys. Welcome back, viewers. Fourth gen. Ah, oh, F-14s, F-15s, F-18s, so 1980s fighters, 1990s fighters around there, and even a couple of bogs. Right, guys, uh, this is going to be like hitting Algernon on the mouse. Unpause, simple Wimber. I'm taking an F-15 viewers because it's probably the only fighter, like ever, that has a thousand rounds of ammunition, high explosive ammunition, um, in 4th Jed. What are you in, by the way? Uh, F-14. Punch it. Think of mine. Here we go. What's your, why did you choose the F-14, Cordana? Uh, a lot of missiles could get in What she said, guys. What's your favourite here, viewers? Is it an F-15, is an F-14, is an F-18, is an F-16? There are no F-16s! Why is there no F-16s? Now that is unusual. Because it only has six missiles. That's, yep. Uh, limited fuel, limited missiles, limited guns. That's the problem. Because it doesn't look as cool. That's Ooh, the thing. I don't know points. about that. I don't know about that, guys. Even Simba, his F 16 mates are going to be very upset. I was just thinking, guys, the other day, I was doing some money work on the missiles of the F 14. And if the F 14 came out now, you could probably think it was a brand new aircraft. It still looks so friggin' space age and modern. It was a early 70s aircraft, but left in late 60s. I can't get my little head around that, guys. My viewers, we've got modern pulse doppler fire control radars to use, and we will use them. We'll probably destroy them before they even reach Dunkirk, guys. Oh, there's an F-14 right above me, hello. Look at those wings go back, viewers, isn't that frigging awesome? Reminds me a bit of the F-111, viewers, does anyone remember the F-111? Oh, yeah. I hope somebody makes it for this. It'd be yeah, a good I'm sure thing. I will, yeah, it's got such rich history, and it's still such an important space of aviation development, tech development, uh, it will be done. Well, someone's fired already. Talk, talk us through it, whoever you are. I can carry Phoenixes. Huh. They will make up for the short range of your AIM-7s. There you go, I might say. Um, I don't think Phoenixes are in the table. I think I'm gonna go give the escort some trouble. Right, if I were you, I wouldn't go into dogfight range yet, guys. Because I'm pumping AMRAMs in. You will know how that, that ends up. It's your info if you get shot. Someone's fired on me. Fox three. God damn it, I've got side ones as well. Right. Right, guys, I'm not going into ACM yet. I'm going to sit and wait. Only two down. You're right, Cortana. There's missiles. I've just done eight missile hits and only one of them died. What is that? I believe it's a thing, viewers. Good question. Cortana, thanks, one. Somebody got me. It's going to happen, guys. Sorry, Poppy. It's me. No worries. What we've got, viewers, is what Fox 3 missiles. That oh, just... I'm locked up. We'll lock on to whatever it was tracking for a uh, it was actually tracking for a bomber and you cut across the screen and it tr switched I'm, to I'm, you i'm locked up i suggest a gentleman's agreement guys to move to guns now before we just keep killing each other we keep killing each other we're gonna we'll lose this battle so let's go to guns and mop up uh, so i'm not sure these missiles are gonna do anything except kill ourselves just move to acm range yeah it'll be all right come moving in for guns m61 cannon viewers dang fine cannon Staple diet of uh, American fighters, even now. Oh, shit. There 
go. There's Tomcat in there spinning around, doing things. There's two of us in there. Be extremely careful if you fire IR guided missiles. Yep. Yeah, be selective and because you're not you're not gonna fight around I'm by doing it. Run. How dare you try to run home? I'm locked up. F eighteen. Lots, lots of super uh, Buddy Spike. Buddy Spike. Buddy Spike F eighteen. Welcome to bog drivers. I do not have anyone locked up. I'm you're clear on me. Okay. I don't know who it is, so. Anyone else having some horrible frame rates now? Oh, mine's beautiful. I'll be ready, baby. Tomcat and 88 do not make a good mix. They don't make a good mix, Ember. I'm locked up. Ready to spike effort. Just shoot her down already, guys. That way I don't have to listen to her say buddy spike. You have it. I do. I Left do. Shit, lost an engine. Fire. Only I can get shot down by fucking junkers. Left engine fire. Left engine fire. Yeah, my frames are bad too at the that, moment. That uh, does uh, require talent cap. Yeah. Left engine fire. This sounds like a personal problem. Left oh, guys, we've fire. almost killed all of them. Left engine fire. Oh, uh, fourth gen. Left it's ridiculous. Engine fire. Left engine fire. Look at this, viewers. Left fire. I just got hit by something. Left yeah, you got in fire. front of that damn uh, missile. Sorry. Left oh, there's only two left. Fire. There's two left. Even with left my one engine, fire. this is going to be easy. Left engine fire. Left engine fire. Left engine Oh, that was a frame rate kill. I'm not sure I can actually catch them up. All right, there's two of you at this point. Uh, cease using any missiles. We're just going to kill each other with them. Oh, F-15. Kill Sealer, F-14. Left engine fire. Left engine fire. F-14s don't steal kills. They do it with style. There you go. By default, it's the F-14s kill. Left engine fire. Left engine fire. Left I think there's one left, guys, and I'm taking it down now. They didn't barely get past France. No one really expected them to. And that's with our missiles not working, viewers. Oh, that's the last one. I think it's the last one, guys. Don't see any more that are going, guys. Anyone? No, they're all dead. Right, guys, let's go and land. Man, that was horrendously easy. And I'm not sure if it's satisfying or not, guys, but it was easy. Yep, see you back. And my one engine. There's no point in doing fifth gen viewers. There's nothing fifth gen can offer that will actually be any better at doing this. They've got the same gun, but they carry even less ammo. Uh, they carry the same missiles essentially, but missiles just don't work. Fourth gen is where it's at. And they carry less of them because of self configurations. Yeah. I think you should learn, you should land and pull a J-turn. J-turn, I can do that. I'll do that by accident, Simba. Uh, which direction are we landing? Back towards where we parked? Yeah, or... uh, just go way. straight in. Why was it so easy, viewers? Um, to be honest, the missiles didn't do a huge amount, but it was fire control radar. It was the maneuverability of the aircraft. It was the um, aiming system, the CCIB aiming system of the guns. Like, everything was so easy. And the guns themselves, my N61 chewed up probably 15 bombers there. Oh, sweet! There's someone's on fire. Why wouldn't they be on fire? Uh, it's a fuel dump. Oh. You think she's an F4, uh, F111? Viewers, we're about to land one of these now. How hard can it be? God, look at that! Graphics of those houses, viewers. That's quite cool, right? Cup final in a load of smoke. Can't see the runway. What could go wrong? You're welcome. Cups down. Everything down. We can't really miss the runway, it's pretty big, guys. Hello, F14. Will you be my friend? Always. I will be your friend. Salsa! And he's pointing the wrong way. Ladies and gentlemen, Salsa! 
Oh no, nope, I got September. it. J turn. Alright, I gotta get slower for a J turn. Then I'll give you your damn J turn. That's it, I'm pretty sure the uh, Viggen Zealand piece can do a J turn in. No, 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 I no. I think no. I left engine fire. My J turn was bloody terrible. It was just embarrassing for everyone involved. Just like everything I always do. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Cup's J turn! <laughs> Oh, that's expensive. That is not going to wax out. That is a bit fast. Oh, darn, no, I don't think... Woo! Got Fire day. Always land like the landing of a carrier. It's robust landing gear. Ah, uh, you would have hopped over all the wires. Oh, good. Nah. It was all good. Watching you turn the wrong way was just as satisfying in DCS as it is in real life. Hell yeah. Just a little bit more to the right way. What kind oh. of thing is it? Uh, <laughs> she missed. All right, down goes Bird. That's my lot down, guys. Let's uh, look at the results. Warbirds, guys. Uh, now, you can't take into account the uh, JU deaths. You can't take into account the bombs dropped. It's just not accurate for what we're doing here. So we're going to have to do it by feel. But in the Warbirds... Oh, subtract that F-14, by the way. But in the Warbirds... The um, but in the warbirds, almost all of the bombers, most of the bombers made it through, and they bombed Manston. The good thing is, we only used 3.5 million. Gen one intercepted probably half of the bombers, stopped half of the bombers uh, from bombing, and only cost three million. So it even it actually costs us less than the warbirds because a few of us died because we were essentially invincible because we were flying around at 500 knots. Then Gen 2, Gen 3 came out. We intercepted all but six. I think six got their bombs out, so almost the whole raid was destroyed and it cost us $50 million, $51 million. And then Gen 4 came out, intercepted all of the bombers pretty much and destroyed them all before they pretty much left France. Um, and it cost us 106 million, although the F-14... No, it didn't carrying. cost you. Yeah. All right, so... The F-14 was after we landed. All right, well, you're going to have to... I don't know how much it costs, so you're going to have to take it off that. The money side of things isn't... isn't. I didn't find much actually use this time around. What I did find was the effectiveness of the increasing effectiveness. Warbirds, no use at all, or not much. Gen 1, half destroyed. Gen 2, uh, 9 tenths destroyed. Gen 4, everything destroyed within a few seconds. So that side was was interesting but any other comments Cortana or anything no not really I was actually surprised we did so well with the uh, with the later jets considering the uh, difficulties with the missiles yeah that's another thing most uh, of the missiles uh, weren't actually doing any damage for whatever reason viewers that's the thing the you can see we turned a lot of bombers back though yeah. if you look at the F-10 map there are a fair number of bombers that uh, crash somewhere in you know in northern yeah. France oh there's actually one more that's about to die Huh. The ability to get up and get to their altitude fast uh, helps oh, you know, yeah. clear them out quicker. Really good point. Absolutely. And of course, this is in real life. In the 1950s, 1960s, it was all about who could make the fastest interceptor to intercept the bombers. And we saw why, it's in so, why it was so important here. Got to get to the bombers as quickly as possible to stop them getting anywhere near your country. So great point there. Yeah, and that was course like i said in the design ethos in those decades right viewers i hope you enjoyed that will cook some more stuff up for us and we'll see you later